Hello everyone, welcome to the session. So in this session, we will see how we can create a video with audio from PPT. For that, I'm using PowerPoint 2016. So let's start. So first, we need to open our PPT, which we want to record. I have already opened my PPT and I have two slides in my PPT. So let's see how we can start recording. First, we need to find this option in the navigation bar slide show. And we will, when we click on it, we will see many options. We need to check this option record slide show. Here, under this, we will see three options record, start recording from beginning, start recording from current slide, and clear. So, start recording from beginning. If we click on it, our recording will be started, will be started from slide one. If we click on second option, if it will be start recording will be started from the slide which has been selected like if we i select this second slide and click on this uh, second option is start recording from current slide the recording will start from slide 2 and and the third option is clear which is disabled because we don't have any recorded slide already so so once this is enabled once we have at least one recorded slide okay so if somebody is not able to find this slide so option then, then there is also one way, one more way to find we can search here recording and we can see this option slides so similar option i mean exactly same so either way we can we can do so let's start our recording i want to record the ppt from slide one so i will click on it and there is a pop up. We don't have to do anything with this pop up. Pop -up. We just click on start. Our slide has been record started recording. And you can see there are a few options here. One is the next to move on the next slide. Second is pause. Then it is showing the timing of the current slide recording timing. And this is to repeat our recording of this current slide. And then the total timing of recording of all these slides so let's move on. suppose we are done with this slide recording and then we can move on to next slide for the recording click on the next now we are on the second slide here the same option we will also find here the recording is in progress suppose uh, i want to pause this i can pause and uh, i want to repeat like i am not satisfied recording of this so i want to repeat it again so what we need to to click it you will see the timer will be reset and now it will start from one you can see the difference of the first timer and second because it is also showing the timing of first slide recording timing of first slide so this is in progress so suppose this is the last slide we are done with our recording then we need to click on the this cross this cross button here i have clicked here so now we are on our original page here we can see there is something star star with both these slides means the recording ha has been done for these two slides and also once the recording is done when we click on that particular slide you will see here bottom there is a option and we can run this to check our slide if it is recorded correctly or not so with the same so in this way we can record our slide also there is one more option to Play the recording for all these slides from slide one. Our slide has been recorded, started, and now it will start from one. This is option we can also use. Suppose uh, now you can see the clear option is enabled because we have slide already recorded. So we can see this. So if we click on all this, so if suppose we want to remove the, uh, you know, the recording from all these slides. So what we need to we need to first click on the clear timing of these slides. Then again we need to click clear narrations on all these slides. Once we click on these two options one by one, and the recording will be 
removed from both these slides. She means from all these slides. Suppose I want to remove the recording from slide one. This so slide two. So then we need to click on clear timing on the current slide. Click. Also click on the clear narration on the card. You can see the star mark here means recording has been removed for that slide two. So in this way we can use different different options. So now once we are done like satisfied with the recording and the, and want to create a video, so we need to click on file file option and there is an option called export. We need to click on the create video. We can use the default option. Click on the create. Once we click, it will ask to save. So we have saved now. Now you will see it is in progress. The recording saving the video is getting created creating video this the this the progress of our we can see here so it will be removed it will be removed once the you know, video is created completely so let's wait for this So once this record, this progress bar is ended, uh, means we can ch go and check our recorded um, video. So I will show that I also want to show that recorded video. That's why I'm waiting to finish the this creation of the video. So you can see this is done. Now let's move on to that. You can see here where I have saved this PPT record. You can see this video. We can play this. Our slide has been recorded. You can see recording. Okay. You can so see this is the few option here. One is the next. So in this way, we can record our, uh, you know, the PPT. So thanks for watching. If you have any kind of doubt, queries, or any feedback, please do let me know in the comment section. I will have a look and for sure will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.